Hello, Zero K fans! Welcome to Nanolades at Dawn. I'm your host, ChatterFury333, and we're gonna have some exhibition matches today, 1v1s, all with Snuggle Base, because I was trying to find Hello matches and there's still no Elo filter, so Snuggle Base was the only one who played matches recently. Well, not the only one, there's a lot of people who played matches recently. But Snuggle Base was the first one I found, so there we go. Snuggle Base stuff. First off, Snuggle Base and Ivan D. And this is gonna be on Titan Duel. Fairly common map, so. Should be familiar to people who have watched this for a while. Ve vehicle focused, very choke point focused, and usually we will see Scorchers going along and just body blocking wherever they can between these choke points here. Of course, the corners being the most important thing, which the players will be going for fairly soon. But of course, first off, they got to build up their main base, and both players are going for light vehicles, so we are going to see Scorcher blocking most likely. Looks like both players are also going for fairly standard dart scouting. In neither case are they going for anything too fancy. Not going for any Scorcher dives or anything like that. In a 1v1 that's possible, but it's really risky. I could see someone doing it in a tournament, but it's just in a random 1v1. People are probably just going to be practicing their main macro game, rather than going for any cheesy strategies like that. At least fairly frequently. But yeah, neither player doing anything too out of the ordinary. And that... Leads me a little to talk about worth the play-by-play, -play, but then I don't like doing play-by-play, -play, so let's not bother doing that. And at this point, both players basically know what the other one's up to. And actually, it looks like Ivan D hasn't scouted. Ivan D doesn't actually know where Snuggle Base's base is or Snuggle Base's like, vehicle factory is, all this stuff. Not, Ivan D's kind of in the dark. I, at this point, it's not really relevant, though. At this point, it's kind of assumed. There's not much to know. Snuggle Base, on the other hand... Might be interested to know where Ivan D is expanding, because, I mean, Ivan D's kind of blocked off these expansions for now. Or at least, they know that Snuggle Base is not expanding here, so they kind of know that Snuggle Base is a little behind in economy. Actually, at this point, yeah, they got, they have more information, so Ivan D is slightly ahead in the information war. And is this going to work? Ah, almost. This one over here is going to be taken out, but I think it'll kill the dart. Nope, not quite. The dart's... And it still takes 40 damage in the process, but that works. Of course, this dart's probably going to come... Yeah, there we go. It's going to come down here, try to take that out, and that's not going to work. At the cost of its life. So yeah, at this point, Ivan D, a little ahead. Not... Why are you not producing? What the heck's going on? Infinite builds... Like, repeat build is a thing. I suggest investing in that. What the... Uh, that's right. Anyway, so... Ivan D is looking, uh, like I said, they're looking ahead, but at the same time, they have energy issues that are going to get in the way, and they have the fact that they were accessing metal right there. Not great, but if they can get their energy under control, they should be fine. It's just they aren't. More worried about defense than about energy, so they're not going to be able to easily build themselves up. Still going for that metal extractor. That metal extractor actually hasn't been repaired yet. So it's not a bad idea. That dart could actually deal a bit more damage. And it won't. And that was the last chance it had, because there's a Lotus coming up, which means no more darts being able to come in. At least not along that way. If you look, there's actually a clear path along the eastern side. Fully clear path. The Scorchers aren't even there. And that's not going to matter, though. Ivan D has decided to go for mainline units, not bothering with the darts anymore, which I think is the wise move. Now, these Scorchers here, are they... No, they're not going to go in. Periphery attacks, which are actually a worse idea. Snuggle Base has done the common thing of putting their defenses on the outer perimeter of their base, rather than setting up a bunch of them internally. Which means that the Scorchers that got in before actually had a free run. Or very nearly free run. This one Lotus is a bit of an exception to that, but for the most part they could run behind all this. Not that Ivan D knows that, I don't think... No, they don't really know that. If they checked, they would know. And they are going to check. They're going to find out. To an extent, maybe. No, they're not. If they get rid of... I, okay, if they got rid of Snuggle Base's Sn Scorchers there, they would have done so, but they didn't. Still, this entire time, Ivan D has been getting further and further ahead economically. The only thing they haven't really been doing has been pushing their factory. Like, assisting their factory and making sure that, that builds up quickly. So they're a little bit behind in terms of... I don't know that behind in terms of production. Snuggle Base does have a larger army, though. Like they have about seven Scorchers to Ivan D's five. 
So Ivan D on the defensive, which I'm sure they don't want. They do have a bit more of a layered defense, but even then, it's still on the defensive, and they were being extremely aggressive at, at first. They clearly just wanted to win by aggression. That's the thing they want to do, because Snuggle Base, if Snuggle Base gets an economy and gets ahead, that's going to be a big deal. And at this point, Snuggle Base is producing faster. Caretaker is coming in for Ivan D, but they really should have been using workers on that factor for a while now. That's kind of how you do it. You, you put workers on there. The Caretaker eventually, yes, but... Workers, that gives that plus 5 every time. And that plus 5 means that you don't have to worry about getting to 24 and then accessing still. But at any rate, Ivan D is not going down anytime soon, but now Snuggle Base has room to breathe. We'll be taking the northeast corner. Ivan D wants to take the southeast, southwest corner, but it looks like that's also on Snuggle Base's radar. Quite literally, in fact. A good question. Yes, yes it is. That entire, actually most of the maps, and how much? So at this point, Ivan D knows about the northeast, does not know what's in the southwest, while Snuggle Base basically knows everything. So it's fairly in Snuggle Base's favor. It hasn't become economically in their favor yet, but it will soon. And I and D, they still have the economic lead. Having a hard time building the power to maintain it, but they still have that lead. Just use this in the factory. Just Mason on factory, please. That would set you so far ahead. Or Mason assisting the other Mason to build power plants. Either way. It doesn't matter. Either way, you'll do the right thing that way. And yeah, they're letting those go idle, which is not good. Ivan D, on the other hand, they are assisting their factory. They actually aren't producing as quickly as Ivan as Snuggle Base. Sorry, Snuggle Base isn't producing as quickly as Ivan D. They only have 15 metal going into the factory rather than 20. But Ivan D is about, about to lose their commander. That oh, they not only lost their commander, their entire their entire squadron of of scorchers got destroyed by the commander burst. That's the exact opposite of what they wanted. That is painful. And the whole point of the Commander Burst is to kill off... Is to kill off your opposing forces. Not your own. So that... That sucked. And it looks like a Sky Dust would have been made. Oh, did they get messed up? I think they might have tried to make it and then... Did they hit the W key or wait? Actually, W is only wait in my case. I gotta change that too. It's very annoying. The amount of times I accidentally hit wait when I don't want to. At any rate, this Scorcher has... Actually, no longer has Free Rain. It had Free Rain, and actually does have a decent path to the back, which... Okay, this Metal Extractor has been rebuilt, or at least repaired. And at this point, Ivan D... Oh, they went for the Northeast? Really? They went for the Northeast, they barely had that defended. Well, they're going to lose it, that's for sure. But now it's falling apart, Ivan D just... Not paying attention to things quite as well as Snuggle Base is. I mean, that's why Ivan D would have wanted to win in the first five minutes of the game, because once you get past that point, it comes down to your ability to macro and your ability to multitask. Micromanagement, of course, remains important, but on top of that, you need to be able to micro, sorry, macro well, and you need to be able to multitask well. You need to be able to pay attention to where things have been destroyed, rebuild them as necessary, build defenses around them. You need to be paying attention to a lot of parts of your front line, and a lot of parts of your base, as well as production and of course, considering whether or not you want a factory switch, because they're at plus 30 metal each. This is around the time you'd want a factory switch, or add a factory, rather. And you got to consider that, too. Make sure you're not accessing all that, and that's that's tough to do. And Snuggle Base sh showing they are a bit more confident in that. They're a bit better at that. A skill that they are much more comfortable exercising, which Ivan D has not trained as much. Which means Ivan D at this point is falling behind. Especially with this... Come on, just put that on the factory. You'd be so much better if this Mason were to assist the factory. I wonder if Ivan D has it in their head that Caretaker is the only valid option to assist factories and workers should be elsewhere. Because workers can totally assist factories. They often should, really. It's actually generally a really good idea is to assist factories because assisting factories like that, that's a very easy way to granularly increase the amount of metal because Caretakers are 250 each. That's, that's a fair amount of money. As you can see, Snuggle Base is using that and doesn't have any metal excess and is pushing a fairly large army. Even with the levelers coming in and smashing up a lot of it, it's still a fairly large army that's been coming in. Snuggle Base is still in a relatively comfortable position. They can switch over to Ravagers right now and they'd be fine. They aren't, which I think is a little disconcerting. 
Not as much as I'm indeed not assisting their stuff, but still, it's kind of a problem. Or going around and reclaiming. How much reclaim is there, anyway? Yeah, in their territory, there's about 600 metal worth of reclaim. That needs reclaiming. That's a good minute or so worth of metal. Like, minute or so worth of parity, if not being slightly ahead of Snuggle Base. And there we go, now the reclaim's starting. But then, of course, the problem is two of these should be back to assist. Like, I don't know, I think Ivan D's... I don't know if that's Evo RTS habits, because Evo RTS doesn't really have... The Evo RTS has a much simpler reclaim system, but then that wouldn't make sense. So I'm not sure what's going on there, why Evan D is not... not selecting their workers more individually. Selecting all of them to reclaim, which kind of makes sense, except that now they're accessing. When they could have had spent set two back at home, two or three back at home to basically use all that new metal. And yeah, Snuggle Base switched over to Ravagers. They're in a good position. No factory changes yet, or factory additions yet. Both players are very satisfied with light vehicles. They just want to play that game. Which kind of makes sense, although with the Ravagers coming in, the Levelers... Wow, Ivan D's Leveler doing a pretty good job here. <laughs> doing a very good job, making cost nicely. I mean, sure they die, but killing one Ravager makes cost for the Leveler. Okay, there we go. Now we have an additional factory coming up. But still, it's just these Masons. That's just bugging me. It's going to bug me for the rest of the game. The fact that those Masons were essentially wasting metal. Although I suppose if they were planning on doing this gunship plant thing, that kind of makes sense. But as Lodi says in the chat during the game, that is a risky placement. At this point, I think Snuggle Base... No, they're not aware. The radar they had that covered the southwest side of the map does not exist anymore. They're completely unaware of this gunship plant. I still agree that it's risky, but maybe it'll work. Double character, oof. Yeah, they don't have the metal to really support this. I mean, you can see where they're doing this. Once they start, if they reclaim more, but they reclaimed everything, pretty much. If they reclaim up here, if they get the, their commander corpse. If they can get their commander corpse, which it looks like Ivan D is the only one trying to reclaim. Snuggle Base going for this instead. If Ivan D can get that, and that's exactly what they're trying to do, but if they can actually, you know, succeed in getting that, that will matter a great deal. And that'll get them this up. The caretaker. Seriously, I mean, why are you mass selecting all your workers? You don't need to have them all do the same thing at once. Are they double clicking everything? No, they can't be double clicking because that would. I guess they could be actually, yeah. Unless they're rapidly clicking and they're doing the double click on the ground, which I thought was fixed, but yeah, it's not. Like, click, click. Uh, click, click. Yeah, see, that's one click that selects all of them because I did the first click on the ground. I thought the bug was fixed. I gotta talk to Hokomoko about that, because I'm fairly certain they told me that bug was fixed. At any rate, that was revealed way too darn soon. Ivan D has just lost the game because of that. Like, Snuggle Base is gonna switch over to Crashers. They're gonna have what they need to deal with this. They know exactly what's up. That was like that was the problem with that placement, is that's very far forward, which means the radar didn't see it. Ivan D was actually leaving Snuggle Base completely in the dark, but now Snuggle Base knows they have a massive economic advantage. They don't even have to have a reclaim for that, too. They just have the economic advantage. They, have, they got crashes already. Like, Snuggle Base is going to outright counter this. The only thing that Ivan D could really do is to basically go really far north, take out the commander, take out the rest of the stuff while the crashes are totally out of position. Do that right now. Dealing with these Ravagers, unfortunately, they kind of have to do, but it's really, the bad it's really a bad idea because the crashes are there. They're in position. They're going to take out everything at the factory. The only hope those rapiers had would have been to go north and take out the stuff that has no anti-air near it. But now the razor's up, now the crashes are up. Like, the gunship plant switch is completely countered. Or gunship plant addition, it's not quite a switch. But that was completely countered. There's nothing more to it. That's that's done. Like, there is no... The only easy target is supposed to be in the northeast. But even then, a lot of that's protected by this one razor. Like, that razor there, that is huge. That's going to be a major thorn on their side. And then, of course, these Ravagers coming in to tear apart the gunship plant. I think that's going to end the game. Once the gunship plant's down, I don't think Ivan D really has much else they want to do. Yeah, if they had managed to get up to 12 Rapiers or so before doing that, that would have been fine. But unfortunately, they did not. They only got up to about 3. So that is probably game... 
I mean, this being the one thing that actually causes any problems, but even then. Even that Stardust isn't going to be enough. No factory changes from Snuggle Base, mind you. Although there was a Dominatrix coming in here, which I don't see. Oh, never mind, there they are. I saw them being built, I was wondering what happened to them. And now we know. Best case scenario, I guess, would be to capture the commander. Which they might just do. Where is... Where's the... oh, Those Reapers are all dead, aren't they? Well, just about one left. Hmm. And that's the Impaler coming in. That's probably going to be game. Bit of a specific use for Impaler, but I'm glad to see they're actually useful now. And... The heck was that? Oh! That has a long-range missile now. Interesting. But yeah, the Dominatrix on the Commander would have been very funny, but I don't think it would have actually worked. They probably would have all died. And at this point, Ivan D is desperate. I mean, they're trying to build more rapiers. I don't know if there's much point. I guess at this point, Snuggle Base has assumed... We see that Snuggle Base has kind of assumed that it's over. The gunship plan is done. No one's bothering to do anything with it anymore, but that's incorrect. However, the Dominatrix not doing enough. Not doing very much at all. So that doesn't help, and Ivan D throws in the towel. A few desperate moves there, but unfortunately, kind of failed in the execution. I think the biggest thing, though, was the fact that while, I mean, okay, I can kind of see that they were building up and waiting up for the gunship plant, it would have made sense to build a storage in that case. It would have telegraphed it had Snuggle Bay scouted it out, but it would have made more sense to build a storage and then use that. So you're not accessing metal, you still have a bunch of metal to work with, and then it just pushes through. But they didn't do that. That's about the only time I've ever seen storage to use that really works in competitive play, is to use it in order to keep metal for a major factory push, like just build a proxy factory and near instantly build it. That's the point for doing that. Because with all those units, all of those builders there, that's 600 metal. So if they have more than 600 metal in storage, that's fine. It doesn't matter what the income currently is. If they have 600 metal in storage, the factory's built in two seconds. Like literally two seconds. That's 30 build power being pushed right there for a 600. No, wait, that's wrong. Damn it, I keep getting it wrong. It's not two seconds, it's 20? No, it's not 20 seconds, is it? Six builders? I guess it would be, actually. Yeah. So you don't want more than that. You don't want, like, 10 or 12 builders. That brings it down to about... 6 seconds. Six, 5 or 6 seconds. And then you just push it. That's what you'd want. I mean, it wasn't bad. It just could have been placed further back, and it would work just as well. Possibly better, because then the rapiers could have gone over north. Dealt with that. Because once they reveal themselves, basically it's a matter of figuring out what's the optimal place to attack in the next minute. Because that's the only window you have. Anyway, that was that. Going to be another game coming up between Anarchid and Stungaways on Isis Delta. That'll be up in a minute, so stay tuned for that.